So we've seen that using different choices for coordinates will lead to different coordinate values. So the blue x and y, true north, true east, gives these values for, for um, this point in space. And the New York ones, going up 3rd Avenue and then across town, give a different pair of coordinate values. So that's not surprising or shouldn't be a cause for concern because after all, these coordinate systems are arbitrary. There's something that we impose on this physical reality, this geometry, this land mass. Um, it's arbitrary which direction is north, we could go that way, we could make any number of choices for our um, coordinates and we would get different coordinate values. But we might ask, is there any, um, there is some underlying reality here, some geometry that should be independent of the choice of coordinate systems. Is there anything that we might agree on according to the blue and red um, measurements? Is there anything that would be the same no matter what choice of coordinates we use? The answer is yes, there is. And that's the distance, the distance from this point to that point, from Tang's garden to H&H um, &H bagels. That distance is the same no matter how you choose to orient your axes. So this distance, let's draw that on here. This distance, this line that I just drew in brown, that's um, a piece of physical reality, how far it is from here to here, that's independent of the uh, coordinates, the axes we choose. Moreover, we know a formula for this. It's just given by the Pythagorean theorem, which in this context we can think of as defining distance. So, distance is the um, straight line distance between two points, the shortest distance between two points. And we know a formula for that. That's delta x squared plus delta y squared square root. This is the Pythagorean theorem. So in this context, let's see, I'll, I'll do the blue case that would be delta y, that would be delta x. So if you know this distance, you know that distance, you can use the Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula to solve for that brown line, the length of that brown line. So let me do that quickly using a calculator. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll do this one. This is 390 meters squared plus 263 meters squared, and then I need to square root the whole thing. So let's see, 390 squared plus 263 squared equals square root. We'll round that to 470. Okay, so what about the distance according to the red coordinates? Let's look at that. I've looked, here's my red pen. So then that distance is my delta x, and this distance is my delta y. And look, there's another triangle for which this brown distance here is the hypotenuse. So we can use Pythagorean theorem for that as well. So let me do that. And I'll use the numbers from here. So let's see, that's going to be 217 meters squared plus 415 meters squared. Square root that. Let's see what my calculator tells me now. 217 squared plus 415 squared equals square root 468. So very close. Um, had I measured even more precisely on Google Maps, I would get these um, even closer together. 
But the main thing we can see from this drawing that there is a type of um, distance between these two points that um, is constant, right? That doesn't matter, uh, doesn't depend on the coordinate system you use. So these x and y values will be different for different coordinate systems, choices of axes. But the distance between two points is the same for in, in um, any coordinate system, for any choice of axes. So then the distance is defined as follows, just to restate this. The distance between two points is the length of the straight line that connects them. I say the straight line and not a straight line because there's one and only one line that connects any two points. So the distance between these two points, there's only one straight line that connects them. There are, of course, of course other ways to get from here to here. I could go this way and this way. I could take a detour. If I was a bird, I could fly in circles for a little while. And that um, measure of separation between these two points is a different notion um, called path length. So let me define what that is. So the path length, as its name suggests, is the length of a path. Um, and it's not necessarily a straight line, but it's some other route, some other um, way of connecting those two points. So again, it could be um, this way, it could be this way, any way of connecting those two points to find a path, and then you just find the length of that path, and that would, that's what would be called the path length. Um, all right, and so to conclude, let me um, mention again just one more way of measuring the distance between two points, and that's the um, coordinate separation. So the coordinate separation is the coordinate differences delta x, delta y, measured in a coordinate system. So to go back to this example, this, the length of this brown line is the distance between these two points. This x, y is a coordinate separation. This x, y is a coordinate separation. They're different for different coordinate systems. And then a path length might be some other way of getting from one point to another. So the length of this green line is a path length, but not a distance. This is a path length, a special one um, that's the shortest, and that's called the distance. So again, three measures of spatial separation, distance, path length, coordinate separation. These two do not depend on your choice of coordinate axes. Um, they're arrived at via um, the distance formula, delta x squared plus delta y squared square root. The coordinate separation, as we've seen, does depend on the coordinate system that you choose.